Welcome everybody, and this is a very special video. Um, you know, a lot of people ask why I seem to be everywhere, and how do I know so much, and and how can I be across so many topics, and you know, how can I comment on all of these different things? Do I work, you know, twenty hours a day? And the truth is, absolutely not. I just don't. In fact, I have pretty restricted working hours. Um, I tend to work nine to five, Monday to Friday, and I don't work at all during the weekends. And maybe do a little bit of catch up uh, sort of late at night when everybody's in bed. I don't work huge long hours. It appears like I do because of my iPhone and Google Reader. This is absolutely my secret. And for the first time ever, I'm going to reveal how I use Google Reader on the iPhone. And let me tell you, if this is not an excuse to go out and iPhone, get an iPhone, I don't know what is. Perhaps the new 30-day challenge app coming very shortly might be. But let's get into it and let me show you exactly how I do it. Okay, this is my home screen here on my iPhone application. And you can see there right at the top, most important application I have there, you can see Google Eater, dot, dot, dot. That's actually Google Reader. And it's a link, and it's create that link is created just by looking at uh, looking at it in Safari on your iPhone. But the specific thing about this is Google Reader is just a web application. It's not a special application you download. It's just Google have designed a beautiful, very practical iPhone capable Google Reader application. It's just brilliant. So we will tap on our Google Reader, and that brings us up to this screen and you can see here's my all items view it displays 15 of these at a time and I can read through so anytime I've got a couple of minutes I literally am able to just flick through which is just absolutely fantastic but there's so much more you can do and obviously as I flick through each page I can hit on a mark all as red and you can see down the bottom I can load more items usually what I do is mark these items as red so tap on that, and that would give me the ability to uh, be able to load up 15 more items. And this is just, I can't tell you how cool this is. But wait, there's more, much, much more. You can, by tapping on the feeds icon, you can actually get your folders view up which is just superb. So if you've only got a couple of minutes, for example, if I just want to read the internet marketing feeds that I have, I just tap on internet marketing and get those specific feeds. So for example, if my vital reads, remember I had a vital read section, if I tap on that, boom, up it comes. And if you tap, you can see, you know, you get the full description just like on um, your Google Reader on your website. But it's just brilliantly implemented. You can see the star up in the top left-hand corner, which will allow you to star things. Still not the best bit, though. The best bit is this bottom bit. You can see there, I can share, I can do a note, I can email, or I can keep unread. Those first three in particular are vital. If I hit the share button, I have my Google Reader set up so that goes through friend feed and hits my Twitter account. So if I see something that's interesting and I know something my Twitter followers would be interested in too, I hit that share button and it gives me um, a fantastic looking tweet which gives, has the headline of, the, um, of that particular um, topic and a link which doesn't take you back to friend feed, it takes you back to the direct article which is so good because you don't want to waste people's time which is just fabulous. I can also, particularly for people on friend feed, I can actually add a note right here on my iPhone so I can explain why I was interested in it. And so by hitting the share button there, the note get attached, gets attached to friend feed. Now that note doesn't go across to Twitter, but it does go into friend feed. So if people are following through my friend feed at least, and I've got a friend feed uh, widget on my blog, people can see why I was interested in that particular thing. Now, if I want to email that to the team, if there's something that I want the team to be um, notified of, I literally just tap the email button and up pops a little e my email client on the iPhone and I can email that feed to people. 
So I've got three different types of distribution mechanism all from my iPhone, and that's how I can keep track of it. Um, imagine how useful this is going to be in your niche, whether you're a mechanic, a musician, an artist, uh, running a small cupcake making business, whatever it happens to be, you can keep your clients, customers, fans and followers completely up to date and you can do this whenever you've got two minutes waiting for a coffee in Starbucks, you know, waiting for the train, on the train, wherever you happen to be. It is just absolutely superb and this truly, this application, this single application is the absolute secret to my success. Now, of course, we have heaps more videos on the 30-Day Challenge. And, of course, in the 30-Day Challenge itself, we are going to show you how you can help inform your market by using the tools I just mentioned in this video. So if you just go to www.30daychallenge.com or, of course, if you're watching this in Facebook, stay right where you are because, of course, you'll be able to get all the information right here in Facebook as well.